Still no word from Major Jorgen or Kaleo. Everything within a kilometer of the spire has been locked down. No signal gets in or out of that zone. I warned you that Gemini frequency mission was dangerous. If they're alive, it won't be for much longer. The Greystone could take the enemy by surprise. Buy me enough time to get our people out of the spire. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We can't throw the Gravestone into the fire unless we know they're alive to rescue. Too much remains unknown, and the enemy has had time to prepare its defense. We cannot risk any rescue operation. I'll alert you the moment I hear anything, but until then, we're just wasting time here. We could all use a break to regroup. That includes you, Theron. I'm too tired to argue. Oh, almost forgot. Hilo Viz asked to see you, Commander. Wouldn't say why, but it sounded important. Hey, Commander, got a sec? What's on your mind? We're doing our best to keep the supply lines running, but most of the people I deal with aren't exactly philanthropists. We can't keep running this thing on goodwill and borrowed credits. Who are we accepting money from? Better if you don't know, but I'd really prefer not to be living off their kind of debt. But look, I didn't just come here with complaints. I know a guy with a habit of showing up when someone's in need. He's reached out with an offer we can't really refuse, much as I might want to. You should meet him. So, he's what? A loan shark? No, just a liar. And a cheat. And a thief. The only thing to trust about him is that he can do what he promises. Hear him out. Come on. Well, this has been an interesting diversion, but I think it's time to wrap things up. I call. Come on, Lana. Now? My fold. So soon? Must be quite a hand. Let's see it. I know that voice. But how? I mean, you discarded every chance you got and never locked a card the whole round. The odds are astronomical. You cheated. Yeah, even if I did, you sure the old boss of Sith intelligence wants to admit some shifty alien got the better of her? Gold. Still a font of outpouring emotion, as always. You should really try your hand at cards. I see you've met my shooting star. They haven't seen me shooting anything. Yet. I see this as a real love-hate relationship. She's the hate, right? Forgiveness is a long, hard road, with lots of toll gates. Much as I enjoy catching up with friends and loved ones, the window of opportunity for my little offer is steadily closing. The Eternal Empire spent the last five years pillaging every world in the known galaxy. Now, how'd you like to turn all that plundering into a profit for you and yours? I'm listening. I happen to know where they're keeping all that ill-gotten gain. Better yet, I've got a surefire plan to steal it right out from under their noses. I just need the help of a few talented, tough customers to see it through. And your old partner sprung to mind. Obviously. Ever heard of the Gilded Star? I'll stop you there. You haven't. It's one of the Eternal Empire's most tightly guarded secrets. A floating treasury circling the depths of a massive gas giant. The ship and the buried treasure all wrapped up into one neat little package. Well, maybe not little. By my estimation, it's the greatest sum of wealth gathered in one place since the Hut Empire was a thing. So, you in? You cross me on this. I bury you. So, the standard arrangement. When you're ready to get this show on the road, we'll be heading to Vanden to lay some groundwork. Hope you haven't lost your edge, killer.
There she is, Vanden. Mind the ledges when you're walking around unless you fancy a death by scenic view. You haven't mentioned why we're here. Giant barge, full of money, is this ringing any bells? It's out there somewhere, swimming below sight and scan range. There's enough magnetism in this place to rival my own. Would have been quite the headache for Mako, I'm sure. Bottom line is, we'll never find the Gilded Star out there, which is all the more reason to get our preparations underway. Such as picking up the last member of our illustrious crew. How many people are we gonna need? Half a dozen, give or take. This is the last one unaccounted for. You should be in a warehouse not far from the dockyards. I'll point out the place when I see it. So, this plan I mentioned? It's going to take the best identity forger this side of the galaxy to pull off. Uh, problem is, he's been in hiding, specifically in that, for a long time. He probably won't be too thrilled to have visitors. Especially not visitors who had his safe house shipped a few thousand parsecs unannounced. Be on your toes. So you kidnapped him? That's more of a change of address. Stretcher, is it? They always say retirement's a good time to travel. Why don't you come and check out the new scenery? Tiresias, you've got a lot of nerve showing your ugly mug to me again. Another partner you burned? This one was asking for it, and we were never partners. I think you've got me confused for someone else, friend. Name's Galt Renault. Got a business proposition I think you'll want to hear about. You can't play dumb with me, Ty. I know that face better than you do. Galt tells me you're the best identity forger in the business. We could use you. I've had enough of helping that fraud fake his own death. This time... It's gonna stick. A little gift for your hospitality. You can mail order just about anything these days. Oh, come on! Still can't roll with the punches. Hmm. You perfectionist types never learn. There's no such thing as a sure thing. Why are we trying to recruit someone who wants to kill you? He's the one with the crutch! After I made that body double, he went to swindle half of Narshada in my name! Because Dretcher is literally the only one I trust to pull this off. It's taken everything I know to stay hidden in this little prison. Every time I start to think I can leave, someone snitches on my new identities. Cult. So maybe I encourage Dretcher's early retirement. This little box is cozier than a coffin and a better place to reflect on how stupid trying to blackmail me was. But hey, 
Ancient history, am I right? I'm more than willing to forget about our past disagreements if you do one more job for me. Uh, I can't ever help you again. He's asking. I'm telling. You're gonna help us with a heist, or I'm gonna rip you out of there and beat you within an inch of your life. <laughs> There's 25 layers of Durasteel and Cortosis between you and me. We'll both be dead of old age before you make good on that. It's true, we might never get into that safe room of yours. But I'm sure this sonic amplifier I brought will have an interesting effect on the contents. So unless you want to spend your final moments being shaken to death by the dulcet tones of the Kashyyyk Life Day Choir, I would reconsider. Mm -hmm. Sit tight, dretch, and get reacquainted with the concept of hygiene. We've got one more stop to make before we get to the fun part. Punctual, gentlemen. Glad you could make it all this way. No trouble acquiring my little request, I take. <laughs> it's here. You got our money? Of course, friend, but I'd be remiss if I didn't ask to see the goods first. Satisfied. That's a fine piece of hardware. That should do. You got our money? About that. I was really thinking we should renegotiate the price. You know, seeing as I don't need the whole missile. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might feel that way. Launch sequence initiated. Target acquired. Total atomic dispersal in T minus one minute. You, you son of a. Make it stop! Nah. Hope you're a good runner. Jumping might be faster. T minus 55 seconds. Warhead primed. Suffering index set to maximum. You're gonna pay for this! Suckers. Abort sequence aborted. No stopping me now. Ah, what did she do to this thing? Come on, come on, it's not responding. Are there any circuits you could cut? Oh sure, dozens. Got any ideas which ones? Tampering detected. Emergency detonation in five seconds. Nice try, jerks. Now, I cannot tell if she did a terrible job rewiring this or too good a one. Three. Oh, so close. Two. I can't wait. One. Kaboom! <laughs> that was great. Ha, uh, ha. Uh. Come on, that was pretty good. Admit it. As pranks go, high marks. Eh, uh, don't encourage her. Allow me to introduce my partner, Vet. She has a habit of getting where she's not wanted. 
Like on your nerves, for instance. Did you get the warhead, or were you too busy practicing your lines? Yes, I got it, Grumpy Pants. Though, I guess those lizard brains will have figured out nothing's exploded by now. I'll see if I can't distract them. Time to make ourselves scarce. We'll see you back at the hideout. Toodles! If you're still wondering why you're here, it isn't to check out the Tabana gas bars. There's a stealth cruiser loaded with more precious metals than a hut's taste in art hiding down in the lower atmosphere, and it's about to come up for air. And while the Gilded Star is roosting at the Skyhook for its annual resupply, we're going to rob it blind. How do you even know about that? A little bird told us. I speak stool pigeon. Even if you do know where it's going to be, it's got a full military complement on board and a vault that could survive the ship being reduced to atoms. Most people would consider it impregnable, but we aren't most people, are we, Senya? You do seem to know a lot about our target. Yes, well, I should. Overseeing the Gilded Star was among my duties when I still served Valkorion. Then you are privy to its operational protocols. I doubt they're still the same. You don't have to run the thing. Just get Scorpio to the ship's control center. There's no way we could infiltrate that far into the ship undetected. Oh, maybe, maybe not. But I'm pretty sure High Justice Valen can go wherever she pleases. You're gonna have Senya pose as Valen. We've got the best identity doctor this side of the galaxy, and as close to a genetic match as we're gonna get. I could never match Valen's gene sequence like that. Although, maybe simulating data corruption in her ID... And create enough doubt to bluff her way through. Dear old mom can manage that, right? Once Valen and her attaché droid are on board, they head to the bridge, seize control of the ship, and allow the rest of us to do our parts. Like cracking the vault. It isn't controlled by the network, so I've got to get into the guts of the ship to reach the mechanism. I'll need your help. Meanwhile, Lana and Koth will bridge airlocks with a tanker transport I've secured for the goods. How are we going to carry an entire treasury's worth of loot out of the vault before anyone catches on? Oh, we won't be carrying anything out of the vault. Into, that's another story. Remember how Senya mentioned the vault could withstand everything outside being vaporized? The same applies to what we're setting off inside. The warhead. Exactly. I'll be pulling up the rear with a disintegration bomb. Once it's done its job, we pump the atmosphere into the waiting tanker and make our escape. What's the exit strategy? Once that sucker explodes, the crew's going to notice. Everybody's just going to have to hightail it to the transport before they catch on. Now, since we've got less than a day before the Gilded Star rolls into port, I'd suggest everybody get real familiar with their part. You look good, all things considered. Maybe I should lie down for one of these deep freezes, see what it does for my complexion. Yeah? Hold still. Hey, hey, hey! Just breaking the ice, not looking to be it. Hilo gave me the rundown. Not much of an early retirement, if you ask me. We came looking, you know? Even the angry tumor. It was about the third trip into the spire when things started to come apart. What happened? Well, it wasn't so much that anything happened as nothing really did. We knew better than to believe the Eternal Empire's cover story, but I've seen ghosts leave bigger traces. Probably on something we were doing. We were going broke and turning up nothing. With the galaxy coming apart, priorities shifted and everybody wandered their separate ways. I kinda hoped you'd all stick together. Guess I'm getting sentimental. Aren't we all? Word of advice from your elders. The longer you fight it, the harder it hits. Compared to all that, this little caper should be a piece of cake. Just be ready to show these amateurs what a couple old pros can do. This is close enough. 
And there's the Gilded Star, just like I promised. Expecting shinier. Gold plated and stealth ship don't exactly line up. Now we just have to hope Mommy Dearest remembers her daughter's birthday. I can kill you from here, Gold. Great, really getting into the spirit of your character, at least from what I hear. Shut up. We are approaching the checkpoint. No further communications are warranted until the bridge is under our control. Roger. Break a leg, ladies. It's in their hands now. All we've got to do is wait. So how did you manage to fleece Lana at cards, anyway? Just because your opponent has a sixth sense doesn't mean you can't use it to distract them. I could tell Lana was trying to peek inside my head, so I just made sure she got an eyeful. The angry glares she flashed were easier to read than anything I was doing. As for the rest, well, trade secrets, you know. Turning her advantage into yours. Clever. When you make your living in the galaxy's cesspits, it never hurts to be able to sink lower than the competition. I am now in complete control of the Gilded Star's network. I will isolate the vessel's sentinels to the best of the system's ability. Showtime. Okay, I ought to be able to reach the vault mechanism along this route. Keep clearing a path for Galt, and I'll see you soon. I really, really hope they check for Minox. Are you sure those schematics were scaled in meters? I can hardly move. My last partner didn't complain nearly this much. Your last partner was crushed to death. And never once complained about it. You'll feel that later. Okay, vet, I'm here. Just give me a sec. Time's a factor. Hey, you want to cut through a foot of cortosis and steel while hanging upside down in a half meter crawl space? There. Jerk. Try it. The moment of truth. You know, I was loaded before you were tracking me down, but it was all zeros on a balance sheet. There's just something magical about the real thing. I couldn't begin to put a number to all this. At a certain point, you just stop counting. It won't look nearly as impressive in a second, but it'll spend all the same. Do the honors? Let's see how much Arkin enjoys this. Payloads delivered. It's time for the pay dirt. We're in position. Extending umbilical. Seal is tight. All green. Airlock disengaged. Awaiting order for depressurization. Door is open. Commencing depressurization. Tank is filling. So far, so good. It will take approximately 10 minutes, 17 seconds to siphon the space of that volume. Plenty of time to make our exit. Great. Let's blow this joint. Did you bring that with you? This little thing? Nah. I passed the armory and it was just laying around, so I figured nobody'd miss it. It is unlikely the detonation went unnoticed. After we vacate the bridge, I will no longer be able to maintain a complete lockdown. See? 
perfectly justified acquisition. Come on, I want to try this thing out. Just scramble the systems as best you can and leg it to the tanker. We'll see you there. We're at capacity. Scorpio and Senya are on board. What's the situation? We're keeping them busy on our end, but I don't think we're any closer to reaching you. Scorpio, do you still have any access to the blast doors? Only through direct input. Great. Just bug out before anyone notices you buzzing around. We'll take the skyhook back down and meet you at the hideout. Play it cool. My guardian angel will handle anybody taking an unhealthy interest. Oh, boy. The lift's not coming, is it? Oh, no, it's coming. It's just not empty. Valen. I can sense her presence. Time for plan B. What's plan B? Run and hope for a plan C. What about the escape pods? They're calling back the tanker to pick us up. Too slow, not to mention it's our only bargaining chip if we get caught, and I'd rather wind up caught than take your other suggestion. We'd never be seen again down in that murk. The Skyhook's still the best option. There's just the matter of getting on. We have to go around. There is no around. There is out there. You want us to scale the exterior? Pretty much. Look, there's no time to stand here arguing, so I recommend lodging your complaints at a steady jog. Uh, it's not so bad. Just don't look down. Or consider your own mortality. Goodbye, Spewy. I'll never forget you. Okay, so, remember Plan C? You never actually got to Plan C, Galt. Turns out Plan C is... Jump! Mother was here, again. She had the audacity to wear my face. And a punishment. Escaped. She knows I won't be bested the next time we meet. Ah, oh, empty threats all you've brought for me. I interrupted their little raid on the treasury. They couldn't have accomplished much in the time they were here. Perfect timing. I'm not the one who has a problem showing up when I'm supposed to. Jeez, how long are you planning to hold that over me? The rest of your life, naturally. Thanks for keeping my worst half out of too much trouble. You should ease up on him. I don't think he's worked this hard for anything in his life. Oh, money tends to make him real industrious. I was talking about you. Oh, I... She'll make a semi-honest man out of me yet. Anyway, I think we've all had our fill of Vanden, and it's gonna get a lot less hospitable shortly, so... shall we? Let's get our haul back to Odessa. There's nothing like coming home from a job well done, especially when you've ruined a huge jerk's day in the process. Couldn't agree more. Come to think of it, our plan was lacking in one department. An actual escape route? It was the scenic route. Can't argue with the view. 
No, the one thing missing was a way to see the look on Arkin's face when he got the news. That's a pretty big oversight, Galt. It's coming out of your cut. Let's not get carried away. We're talking a fringe benefit at best. Now, how about we get on with my favorite part and divvy up the loot? Already taken care of. You, Vet, and Dretcher already paid out. I took the liberty of skimming what you owe me off yours. Well, take all the fun out of it, why don't you? Your idea of fun is why your divvying privileges are still revoked. Seconded. Hey, I only ever cheated you before we started working together. The point is we're on to bigger and better things, like melting a mint down into an ocean of liquid happiness. Now, however you want to spend your cut is none of my business, but if you want to, say, triple it, I might have a little something in the works. This money isn't ours. I don't mind taking it from Arkin. But I want nothing to do with it. It does feel wrong to keep it. Our goal was to fund the Alliance, not personal gain. Who says it can't be both? You just need a little ambition. Or, you know, you could try giving. Maybe just once. See what you've been missing. My share is going towards buying back some of the artifacts stolen from my people. Freeing slaves. Giving Twi'laks a better place in the galaxy. Honestly, we've got way more than we need for operations. It'd be good to have a plan for the excess. I'd like to distribute our surplus back to the world's Ark and plundered. I don't care how. A fruitless gesture. That wealth will return to the Eternal Empire so long as they remain in power. People are suffering out there. What are we doing if not trying to help them? If you are confused. Our objective is not to alleviate suffering. It is removing the Eternal Empire from power. No fools in accounting, and no accounting for fools. It looks like we're settled up. I figure you'll be seeing me around. You've got a handy little outfit here. Besides, I wouldn't want Hilo to get lonely. Huh, <laughs> as if. If your alliance happens to need a morale officer, I'm game. Kicking Arkin's butt should require a full-time party planner. Speaking of parties... This stuff sells for more than most freighters. Grab some glasses and get to know what success tastes like. Commander, Major Jorgen and Kaleo just landed. They're in the docking bay. So much for celebrating. Go ahead, we'll be right behind. mission failure. We'll never get another shot at the target because of you. This is what happens when a criminal gets in the way of real soldiers. You're welcome. Next time I'll let the enemy kill you. We had them in a corner until you started tossing thermal detonators. I lost four good people because of your lack of discipline. If they were so good, why are they dead? Enough. You both failed the mission, this alliance, and me. I don't get points for bringing Major Misfire home alive. Good to know for next time. It wasn't a complete loss. I grabbed something on the way out. My fire team covered you. Yeah, yeah. Point is, we lifted the data core from a security console right outside that hyperwave relay station. It's not the key to the Gemini frequency, but it does contain a massive file archive all about those droids. I'll put Scorpio to work sifting through the information. See if there's anything to salvage from this fiasco. Whatever's in those files has to make up for the lives that were lost getting them. Nobody regrets those losses more than me, Commander. The casualties were unacceptable. It could have gone much worse, but we can't let this happen again. Commander, I recommend these operatives be confined to base for the time being. What? Forget that! No, he's right. We didn't function like a team, and other people paid with their lives. This is war. We can't always avoid casualties, but I expect you to get better at your jobs and work together. Dismissed. You heard the commander.
I'll start with her fingertips and work my way up. Take one knuckle at a time, then her hands. Do you remember, Mother? Not what she is now. Who are the children? I remember her telling Father I was dangerous. How I had to be controlled. She always hated me. She never understood us. Oh, Father. She helped the Outlander steal our pretties. They took everything. Those things can be replaced. When all the worlds we've conquered find out what's happened, they'll think we're weak. Test us. I remain the greatest power the galaxy has ever seen. My enemies know what I'll do to them. If they cross me. Fear is always free. I will be generous with it. <laughs>